Hi everyone, Aaron Brooks and Chris from Perfect Postures. Um, today we're not going to talk really about pain um, like so many of the other posts that we've done. We're going to actually talk about uh, squat. We get a lot of a lot of questions about squat and you know is it safe um, and a lot of times if you're at the gym you could probably see people squatting you just something just doesn't look right. So we want to go over a couple things to look for um, that could be a, a almost like a predisposition for an injury. Um, so Chris is going to um, demonstrate a squat. We're going to show you some of the things to look for that aren't good. So one thing is when Chris goes into a squat, he's going to go in and maybe you see one knee just kind of collapse in. So if you come on up again, Chris. So watch his right knee. As he comes down, it's going to kind of collapse in, which is not good, obviously. What that usually indicates is there's a lack of range of motion possibly in the ankle joint or there's actually a weakness up in his hip. Now another thing may be where his right foot's going to turn out, and he may be doing this as he goes into the squat because he's trying to clear or he's trying to get um, less tension in his right hip. So a lot of times you'll see that. Another thing is, we're going to um, feet straight ahead again. As Chris squats down, he may shift toward one direction and then come on up. So if you're, just say you're with a training partner and your partner sees that, then those are deviations. You know, quite often what we always say is that you know, the body's going to take the path of least resistance. Those are really common examples of the body taking the path of le least resistance. The downside to that is that's an environment for a premature breakdown. So you may end up with like a knee issue or a patello, patellofemoral mistracking. You may end up with some low back pain. So um, keep an eye on for those. And um, for the corrective exercise of the week, we're going to actually show you one exercise that could actually help clear up those deviations. And this is going to seem simple. It's going to seem like a calf stretch, which it does, but we're actually doing it more for hip stability. So stay tuned.